Hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of Wheel Stories. I'm south of Boise here in Idaho, mid-November, beautiful weather. And today I'm going to put together a tutorial. I'm going to show you how I mount my cameras and throw together a ride sequence in video. So let's get started. In terms of cameras, I use SJCam 4000s. They're kind of a GoPro knockoff, not very expensive. You can find them on Amazon or at B&H Photo Video. They use the same mounts as GoPros, but if I lose or destroy one, I'm not going to be upset. Today I'm riding my Kawasaki 1500 Vulcan Classic. Now I haven't done very many motorcycle videos with this bike, so today will be a bit of an experiment. But this is the tool we'll first take a look at. It's called a Pedco Ultra Clamp. Mounts to handlebars, pipes, and even flat surfaces. Let's take a look. For a forward aiming shot, I've taken the clamp and mounted it to my handlebar. As you can see, there's a, a post that you screw down to tighten it on the handlebar. Now I may have mentioned that the SJ cams mount just like a GoPro. I've taken the tripod mount, screwed it down to the Pedco Ultra Clamp, and I've got a nice forward shot right here in front of my rear view mirror. Now thankfully I have several of these clamps. I'm going to take this second one and mount it to the rack on the back of my motorcycle and point the camera backwards. So I've got both cameras mounted. I've got the rear aiming shot right here on the back rack, and then I've got the front aiming shot right on the handlebar, right here in front of my rear view mirror. We'll explore a few more mounts, a few more camera angles further on down the road, but for now, let's get on the Kawasaki and let the good times roll. seen the forward shot and the rear shot. Now I'm hoping my Kawasaki doesn't vibrate too much. I've not used these mounts. I've used them on my BMW. But before I move them, I'm going to try a few different angles by twisting the cameras a little bit. For this camera mount demonstration, I've been riding the Western Heritage Historic Byway south of Boise. I've reached the Snake River Canyon near Swan Falls and there's some beautiful scenery out here today. So you've seen the forward mounted shot, the rear mounted shot, and a few variations from the same mount locations. Time now to do some things different. I'm going to put a mount on the floorboard for a low angle shot and then I've got to turn a mount around and do a selfie. So you've seen the selfie and the low angle shot for a dramatic effect. Now I've mounted a camera to my helmet. This is a typical GoPro mount. Just got to keep your head steady, but you can get a variety of angles for a more POV type of look, point of view. Another creative option, it's a little time consuming, but you can position a camera on the road and do some drive-bys. They're fun. So now you've got lots of angles, lots of video to scrub through. You've got your selfie, you've got some drive-bys. Now it's time to assemble it together. Put it together with some music or maybe some narration. You can be creative. There are no rules when you're making a YouTube video. Here's my sequence. Take a look.
Well, the sun's going down quickly and I need to get moving. But I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it informative. It's fun making these videos. Hey, subscribe to my channel. Look at my other videos. Give them a thumbs up. And until next time, safe riding.